the globe, bringing you all the best news, sports, and information. It's What a Day with Joe Lowry. Hey everybody, Joe Lowry, What a Day. Happy Friday out there. That's right, TGIF. We finally made it. The work week is over. And bring on the weekend. And how about congratulations going out to the Boston Bruins as they punch their tickets to the Stanley Cup Finals with a 4 nothing victory, shutout victory at that over the Carolina Hurricanes last night, therefore clinching the Eastern Conference and now being crowned Prince of Wales champions. This one seemed to be over relatively early, folks. For those who did watch the game, the Canes played like they had no urgency. Uh, they already they played like they've already been told that, that they lost the game, you know. And, you know, already with goals by the top line at Marshawn, Bergeron, DeBrusque, they were on fire last night. And even with a healthy Chara being scratched and minus winger Chris Wagner, the Canes just could not capitalize on any chances. And as the night went on, you could hear the Bruins faithful well over the Carolina faithful. Now with the win, the Bruins are just four wins away from the Stanley Cup. And you can believe it, now the Bees will now rest up and watch and see who they play for the Cup as San Jose leads the St. Louis Blues 2-1 to -one over in the Western Conference. Now, with the Red Sox winning the World Series last year and the Patriots winning the Super Bowl just a few months ago, all eyes are on the Bruins now to win the Stanley Cup. And if that does happen, that would make three sports world titles within a one-year period. Believe it or not, folks, it's been done before. We have to go back to 1935 as Detroit was the big town, the big city, I should say, as the Red Wings won the Cup, the Tigers won the World Series, and the Detroit Lions won the NFL Championship. Now, this achievement was so unprecedented at the time, they actually had a special day set aside in 1936 called Champions Day, and that was highlighted by an up-and-coming boxer at the time, too, by the name of Joe Lewis, remember that name. Too bad the Celtics couldn't get in on the action. So hopefully the Bruins can take care of business and bring that third world title back home to Boston. All right, moving on. The Red Sox are set to host their ALCS rivals this weekend. That's over at Fenway Park as the Houston Astros come to town for three games. First pitch comes your way at 7-10 tonight. All right, sad news to report out of the WWE as former WWE Diva and Heavyweight champ and Women's Champion, excuse me, Ashley Mazzaro has passed away. According to TMZ, the former wrestler was transported for a home in Suffolk County, New York last night where she died. No cause of death has made public at this time. Now, Mazzaro came into the public eye as the winner of the WWE Diva Search back in 2005. That earned her a one-year contract with the organization. She also briefly competed on China Survivor China episode in 2007. Actually, Mazzaro was just 39 years old. And a sigh of relief on the other side of the spectrum can now be heard, as we reported yesterday, WWE Hall of, uh, Hall of Famer Ric Flair was rushed to a local hospital in Atlanta in what they deemed a serious situation. Well, the internet took over from there and all but pronounced the former world champion dead. I'm telling you, it's crazy. But Ric Flair's wife took to Twitter last night and set the record straight as she told the WWE Universe that Ric was just undergoing a normal procedure, a planned procedure at that, and is doing just fine. So good news on that one. All right, Saturday, just hours away, folks. That's tomorrow, less than 24 hours. You know what folks have been promoting it for the last month or so. Two stops. First stop, Legendary Boxing. Jared Tillinghast, North Providence, Rhode Island. Grand opening at 12 noon. Ribbon cutting at 1 o'clock with the mayor. We will be there live. And then from there, we head to Woonsucker, Rhode Island for NWW Extreme as they present Combat Warfare 9 live from the American Legion Post. This action-packed fun for the whole family event is in honor of our beloved armed forces and portions of the proceeds will benefit the homeless veterans of Rhode Island. You can check out all the action on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube page, and also check out James Allen's page at nwwextreme.com for more details. Well, that's going to do it for me, folks. Stay tuned. Tomorrow is What a Day and Baby Cakes Hits the Road. I'm Joe Lowry. TGIF, everybody. What a day.